Hi, everybody that's joining us on YouTube. We're going to be painting on hot press paper today. The painting that we're going to paint is a vignette of some of the firefalls in Yosemite, just sort of painted it with expressive realism, more from my head than looking at a, looking at a photo. So here's a sample painting that I did of it. I used three colors, Hansa yellow medium, permanent rose, and sepia. Probably better to mix your own sepia, but I was kind of in a hurry. And I like some of the uh, parts of this where it blurred and some things. One of the things about a really good vignette is that there's negative space that reads some other thing. So if you have some negative space, that's really good. Uh, they also attach at, uh, at least on three sides of the paper, possibly four, with the irregular, with, um, you know, not this kind of a cruci uh, cruciform because it attaches on all four. Actually, this side, well, it's down here. Anyway, so, I'm going to give this a try. Here is my piece of hot press paper. I have it tilted on a board, or I have it on a board and it's tilted slightly. It's sitting on my um, margarita salt. I'm going to use my number 10. And what I'm going to do first is sort of uh, just place my cliff. And I'm not going to go straight down the center. I'm going up over the half so that my, my uh, focal point won't be smack in the center. So that's just a little bit of water. I don't know if you can see it. Not a little bit, you can see it. And I'm just going to start with um, Hansa Yellow Medium or Bumblebee. Right there, mixed it up. It's just pure Bumblebee. That's the, the, rip, the pink waterfall, an orangey pink waterfall when that light hits it, horsetail waterfall. And I'm just sort of putting like, uh, like the lights landing in the bottom of the waterfall too. I'm going to put some, so this paper's got some wet spots and some dry spots. Now what I'm going to do is going to put some trees up here at the top of the cliff. And I, you know what, I'm going to raise my cliff so that I can have some trees go out the page. This side's going to go off the page. I made that go right out the middle, but that's all right. I'm going to figure it out. Some trees. So I'm just being very loose and just suggesting all of these things. Now I'm going to make some orange by adding permanent rose into my Hansa. Sort of brushing with the side of my brush and getting it to sort of skip. I don't really have any dripping yet. Add a little water and see if I can get it to drip a little. Maybe these trees would be sort of that orangey color. I'm gonna just use my sepia, partly because I found a tube I didn't think I had, and partly because it's just so much easier to just use it straight out of the tube rather than mix it up with French and burnt sienna. So now I'm gonna to try to add some darks into this. Be 
keep splattering this brown paint everywhere. Okay, let's see what happens now. If we can get this maybe to drip. Maybe I'll even do a little spraying. To get it to drip a little. Let's see what happens. Here's my spray bottle. I've got it on a paper towel so when it drips down, Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> it made a cliff. I've got three equidistant drips there. So I'm going to just play around a little bit. So this is finished, but even the drips just attached it to the bottom edge now. That one. <laughs> My husband's trying to be so quiet. <laughs> nice, dear. So I have it attached here, 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 here. And if I just go over to outside edge here, I'll have it attached on this side. And I, I kind of, this is sort of a big square that's too even in shape. I kind of like these areas in here, these negative shapes kind of suggest trees. But this, this big block right here is really boring. So I wonder if I want to take another clip coming over to it, or if I just want to put like a, some trees up here. On the sample painting, when I got to there, I put the cliff in. And that's kind of, yeah, I kind of like it. I think I'll just do that again. So I've got sepia. Um, I'm going to bring it over to this one and meet. And I'm going to take some Now I can really, ah, that's too even. I think it needs some of that salmon color someplace else, only in the one spot. So I need to add some salmon color in two other spots. That was very much brighter than the other salmon color. To keep my yellow clean. Here's that sepia gets in the yellow. It's doesn't make the good salmon color anymore. All right, there's some. Uh, there's the color I need. Well, splatter's good. Oh, do too. Have that one red spot. I think it needs 
One more red spot. Well, that's a vignette with expressive realism. I'm looking at it on the screen and I'm seeing like kind of two places now that my eye goes. One is this. I think if I just wet that a little bit, get it to sort of drip down, that would be better than those harsh lines. And then this is a perfect square here. So I think I just need to just change the shape of that perfect square. Okay. I think that's a bit of an interesting painting. Can you that's see that? Pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Nice job. Did you did you do hot press card? Or is that cold press? Uh, cold press on this one. Okay. Penny, I like you your got... colors. Your, your indigo and your green and your yellows. That's, that's... Uh, burnt, it's burnt sienna and Antwerp for the greens and then um, some indigo for the trees and the glyphs and a little bit of um, canacrinone gold, I guess. Beautiful. That's lovely. It's like the more like the photo that uh, was on the email. Yes. That's a lovely little painting. Beautiful. I love the way the drips came out. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I like your negative space. Thank you. Oh, beautiful colors. I love how your colors blended in your paper and your negative spaces is lovely. That's a nice, that's a nice painting. Really nice. I find that. Oh, you got some color in yours. That's nice. Your eye goes right to that bright orange spot. Hold it up a little bit so we can see the bottom. A oh, nice, that's some nice negative shapes down there. That's a lovely painting. Thank you. Very nice, Laura. I love how you have the yeah. oranges throughout your painting. And uh, I like the, it's the, I guess symmetry, but the analogous, analogous shapes that are very vertical. So you've done a really nice job on that. It's lovely. A good vignette. Well, that was fast and fun and always fun to see everybody's paintings. So thank you for joining us.